FM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Hello there. It's a very beautiful day and many thanks indeed for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorogo Elkana Moare. Today on the program, we shall be interfacing with select industry captains about their businesses, the operating environment and other related issues. Also on the lineup is a special report on drilling contractors, talking about International Association of Drilling Contractors, Nigeria. And on the face-to-face -face is Emeka Ilo Ilunachi, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Fast Credit Limited. This is a package you must see. I am Olorogo Elkana Moware. Stay with us. DPK Homes and Property Limited. Easy access to homes and properties ownership, comfort, security, and wealth. DPK Homes and Property Limited top-notch and innovative services through the provision of quality and affordable homes, sales and documentation of landed properties, real estate brokerage, legal advice on real estate matters, facilities management, building and construction, and so many more. Come over to DPK Homes and Property Limited. Research reports have shown that any country that desires capacity and quality to enhance productivity for economic growth and development must give adequate attention to human capital. In line with this, Group Head Human Resource and Administration of Inlax Nigeria, Ade Tokumbo Ayo Ogunsoya, spoke on the importance of human capital drive among Nigerian businesses. At Inlax, we place a premium on our people. Typically, you hear a lot of, you know, a lot of organizations that tell you that the most important people are their assets. For us, it's not cliche; it's actually a reality, because we realize that for us to achieve our business objectives, to give us that competitive edge in the business ecosystem. So, I didn't like decide on coming up with a corporate strategy in line with achieving our strategic objectives, and we have a we had a five year plan, and for that, we had deliberate action plans in line with the strategy on how we can develop our people. It's based on that decision that we came up with, well, we establishing what we know as our INLAX Corporate Academy. The focus and the objective of the INLAX Corporate Academy is to build our employees, not just in the functional competencies, which has to do with the actual job roles, but also regarding soft skills and general management skills. Also, we have something that we call the INLAX way. The INLAX way speaks to developing our staff in the line of the INLAX culture. So it's important for us that we build the capabilities of our staff so that they're rightly skilled to deliver on the job now and also begin to build them for the skills of the future. Because we recognize that being an IT organization in this kind of environment that is full of disruptive innovation, we must be on the cutting edge. Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Force Ally Capital, Ebeniza Lufoshe, spoke on the fastest growing investment initiative in town, the Force Ally Money Market Fund. It's a money market fund. The product will pay dividends every quarter. So it's like rather than keeping your money in a savings account that is earning little interest, you can earn commercial rates you know, using this and have your interest distributed to you every 90 days. It's an open-ended fund. You know, the fund will close on May 6th, but beyond that, investors can always come in and invest, and you can always withdraw. We have a minimum initial investment holding period of 90 days. After 90 days, you can, you know, withdraw money, you can make, you know, incremental investments. The product itself is rated A by Agusto & Co., the top most company in Nigeria, and it's regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission, and we have trustees, you know, uh, radis trustees, who will monitor compliance with everything that we we'll say we intend to do. So it's properly structured and given our own track record, the credibility of the people who are behind it, we strongly recommend it as an investment you know, for all those that are seeking the objectives that are fairly defined. So the minimum investment amount is 5,000 naira. You know, so that way everybody can participate. Because there's no minimum. You start from somewhere, you can actually see your money begin to grow, your money begins to work for you. And we are also open to supporting people 
who are there on the platform because they are now our clients and we said we want to be a partner of choice. We're also available to advise people as to how to then move to the next level. And that is the EOM Business Network News. Michael Orimobi is the global chairman of Tukumba Orimobi Legal Group. We're a full service commercial law firm, so uh, we have about 30 people in Nigeria, so that gives us uh, the right amount of human capital to do a bit of everything. So we are basically divided into four business lines. We have a dispute resolution and private law practice that does litigation, arbitration, debt recoveries, and things like that. I would say more of commercial litigation. We don't do a lot of criminal work. There's hardly any area of practice that we don't have experience in. So you can imagine 40 years of doing business. There's a large uh, repertoire of transactions that we've done. That's basically what we have. Uh, maybe other than things like maybe space law, you know, <laughs> there's hardly any area of practice that we don't have quality experience in. We're about setting up a Tokumbo Remobi Foundation. I think I want to focus on that over the next few years. In terms of the legal practice, um, one of the things that uh, I've always wanted to do is to ensure that this firm becomes Nigeria's first truly international legal practice. And we started that vision when I joined and we started by opening our first office in New York a few years ago. And um, that changed the dynamics for us. So I, as I speak to you today, we're the only Nigerian law firm that actually has an international outlook. So we have offices in London today, full-fledged offices. We have a full-fledged office in New York, somewhere, um, somewhere in Manhattan. We have a full-fledged office in Pretoria. We have a, an office in Mauritius. Uh, we're thinking of opening something in Accra very soon. We're negotiating the agreements as we speak. We're thinking of opening something in the Middle East, maybe Saudi Arabia or something like that. So we want to be an international legal practice. We don't want our business to be um, tied towards Nigeria alone. Today, I think we have about eight or nine offices uh, globally, uh, four in Nigeria, and I think four or five across the globe. We had our global executive committee meeting in January, and we have an approval to open more offices. So I see us maybe about 30 offices over the next five years. Emeka Iloe Lunachi is the Chief Operating Officer, Fast Credit Limited. Fast Credit Limited is a central bank, CBN licensed financial institution, hmm? strategically focused into consumer lending, investment or fund mobilization. And of course, because we are also a fintech company, we are into mobile payments. I would start by saying that First Credit at least started in 2014, was incorporated in 2014, and the mission of the company remains to provide fast, convenient and responsible lending to consumers and small businesses using modern technology. We started as a credit company and we grew to become a fund manager as well as a mobile payment company. On the vision statement side, the intention is to be the leading non-bank. We said we are not a bank. That's why we use the word we are to be the leading non-bank financial institution, providing microcredits to payroll employees and other consumers, creating a shared value nationwide by 2022. Three major core values has kept us going. Professionalism, integrity, and empathy. You can't impress the market. The market is already competitive, so you must be professional. You must also show a high level of integrity. Finance, every finance-related business is a profession that requires a high level of integrity, it requires a lot of trust. And the other part is that you must show empathy. You must always put yourself in the shoe of the customers. Customers are everything in a business. As long as you, you delight them, I don't say satisfy. If you delight the customer, they will always come back. Like I said, from our missions and vision statements, first of all, we do 
consumer credits. We do lending, principally lending, irrespective of the type of product it may be, whether payday loan, whether nano lending, which is um, digital credits, you know, whether SME loan, whatever it is that is loan, it's about lending. Okay, so that's the first product. The other product, like I mentioned, is fund management. We take funds from the general public, what we call, because we are not a bank, we are, we are forbidden by CBN to call it savings or deposits. So we call it borrowings or investments. People place money with us and we give them high interest rates over and beyond what any commercial bank would give. When you compare it to Treasury bill, we'll say we'll give plus two, 200 basis points over what Treasury bill rate will give you. So we take funds and give high returns to customers. And that's because we lend as well. So we need fund to lend. So we give them good rates and we take rates from the deficit end of the market and need that fund. For me, it's evolving. I'll use the word. I wanted to say um, we're in there, but I think we're evolving. Traditionally, the finance sector has um, had two main challenges. One, in the entire finance industry, the banks are seen to be in the forefront. So when you tell someone I'm a finance expert, the first thing he wants to hear, are you in which bank? In Nigerian environment, which bank? When he say no, it's not a bank, it's a finance house, he looked at what's that? Right? So there's been overt focus on the banking subsector. But the banking sector itself is not the only player in the financial sector. You have the insurance, you have the, the, the investment uh, uh, companies, you have the capital, capital funding companies, and all sorts of companies within that sector. However, the finance subsector that looks like nest to the banks tends to be ignored. But critically, they are really serving a chunk of the mass market, more than the commercial banks would do, such as we are doing in the consumer lending subsector. Great news. First Ally Money Market Fund. Oh, yes. Invest in the First Ally Money Market Fund today with as little as 5,000 Naira and enjoy impressive returns on your investment. Our money market funds are managed by trusted investment managers who have vast experience in money market instruments. Visit us today and subscribe to this great opportunity. Offer closes on Wednesday, 6th of May, 2019. First Ally Money Market Fund. Trust us, it pays. The importance of the oil and gas drilling subsector of the Nigerian petroleum industry cannot be understated. Expectedly, the International Association of Drilling Contractors Nigeria, also known as IADC, was established to interface with government with a view to creating a friendly, conducive and enabling business environment for operators of drilling business in Nigeria. Worrisome, however, is that in spite of the importance of drilling contractors in Nigeria, industry operators are still faced with challenges. Ote Onaibe is president, International Association of Drilling Contractors, Nigeria. It is easier for you to air your points and it's easier for you to pass message across to regulators. And so we come together to be that advocating voice, continue to advocate for sensible regulations. And two, you, you have to have a voice in the industry. When people are making their own comments about the industry, you want to have a forum, a voice, where you can also air your own part of your view. And thirdly, you want to make sure that you make sure people come together to begin to learn from one another with regards to the lessons learned in the way they do things safely. If you have a better safety system, it's, it's a forum where you can share with other members so that they too improve on their safety standards and also environmental protection to make sure that we keep the environment as safe. This is Avium Offshore. 
Nigeria's leading drilling contracting company with an innovative approach to redefining and elevating drilling operations in the Nigerian oil and gas sector to international standards. AVM Offshore, experts in drilling contracting services, dredging, project management, manpower and recruitment, waste management, and other specialized services. Welcome to AVM Offshore. Ufoma Imonyuru is the Managing Director of AVM Offshore. The industry is beginning to pick up again because uh, the last three years we experienced uh, low operations because of uh, the price of uh, crude oil in the foreign markets. A lot of companies were not uh, we're not doing projects, so basically they were just uh, they've been uh, they've been managing on uh, the existing production, but it will come to a stage whereby the ones that you've been managing, you now need to work on them. I will say again, it has to do with finance as well, because if the oil companies they get the adequate finance to finance the operations it will boost the industry. There will be more operations. NMBC Nappings, True Nappings, they've been, uh, they've been very helpful to the operating companies. But again, project financing. So basically, this is what we need to look into. Because in a case whereby there is adequate funds to execute projects, of course, it will maximize uh, involvement you know, in the drilling operations. So basically, financing funding of projects. There's this project, uh, it involves, uh, it, the, the, the tendering process is still on, is not, uh, is not completed yet. It has to do with the, the model that we are trying to introduce to the Nigerian space, oil and gas space, whereby the client gives you the well and program. So uh, it's not a responsibility to provide the rig and also render the services as well. Services, other associated services that are done in the oil industry. So based on that, we've been able to get alliance with some of the, the major servicing companies because we cannot provide all the services. So basically what we've done, we've formed alliance with multinational service companies, the like of, the likes of uh, Halliburton. See, talking to companies like Baker, Huge, and uh, we also have local players that are competent to deliver this service. So it is a challenge, but uh, we know we can achieve it. We, we have the foreign backing as well to, to source for funds because these projects are capital intensive and sometimes you don't get paid immediately. So basically we are leveraging on our capability to, to source for funds offshore to execute these projects. That's our backbone. ABM cannot run as a structure. You need people, competent people that can move the company forward that can move the dream of the company forward, that can move the vision of the company. So training in AVM we take very seriously. So we do the periodic trainings for our personnel and uh, the new intakes, we do our induction to properly introduce them into the AVM family. So human capacity building is what we take very, very seriously. If you come to our rig, the top management personnel that are involved in the drilling activities. They are all IWCF certified. And also we've insisted that uh, the experts that come to our sisters, we've also ensured that they have this proper certification before they can step onto the APM. So basically it is, it is what we take very seriously. And there is no, there's no compromise in any form. OES Energy Services Limited is Nigeria's largest indigenous swamp ring services provider. The company made a bold entry 
into oil and gas upstream services via OES Energy Services, an integrated oil field service company. With the aim of being Nigeria's largest indigenous oil field service firm and encouraged by the renewed local content drive in the country, OES has invested over $400 million in the acquisition of five oil drilling rigs for use in the Niger Delta. OES Energy Services Limited is positioned to be the preferred integrated upstream oil services firm in Africa that creates value for its stakeholders. Dele Badejo is the Chief Executive Officer, OES Energy Services Limited. We actually started IADC Nigerian chapter. We saw the need for uh, an umbrella for all drilling contractors to have representation at the regulatory and legislative level. Uh, before this time, everybody was doing their own thing, everybody going to Abuja to talk about things that will benefit the drilling contractor. And then we decided to form the chapter in Nigeria and I'm happy under uh, the leadership of the present uh, uh, chairman, we are starting to get some attention. It's only in Nigeria that you don't know who is a drilling contractor. If you want to know a doctor, you go to Nigerian Medical Association, they tell you who is a doctor. If it's about advertising, they are advertising practitioners board. But for IADC, is supposed to be the umbrella body for every drilling contractor. What we want to see is the government um, giving uh, a lot of uh, patronage to IADC. For example, if they want to register somebody on NIPEX as a drilling contractor, I believe it's only fair to consult with IADC to say who is a member of your association. The case is not so in Nigeria today. We also believe that when uh, international drilling companies who are looking for a drilling contractor or local uh, indigenous national uh, exploration companies are looking for a drilling contractors, uh, IADC should be the organization to consult with. When policies are also being made, there were lots of policies made on cabotage, on marine, on uh, so many things in the con safety uh, systems in the country. Uh, those kind of legislation that we affect our members should have our own contribution to it. So today we have a strong body and we are starting to get some representation, but it's still not enough. We need to have uh, that umbrella body speaking for every one of us as against everybody talking for each other. What excites me is being able to sit down with our customer, we listen to what they want to do, and then as partners with them, we come together to uh, work on a suitable solution to their individual needs. So we are a solutions provider. What I like today is that our customers call us in at the beginning of their project, not when they are halfway. They call us in, they tell us what they want to do, and we sit down together and we see how we can provide safe, quality, efficient uh, services to them. At the end of the day, we share in their success. We're proud to be associated with them. Uh, we have a rig that uh, went to work for Chevron three years ago. At that time, the plan was to drill about uh, 16 wells. Today, after three years, we've done 33 wells for them, which is uh, more than 11, about 11 wells per year. I don't think that kind of record has been done by anybody else. So if you go to Chevron today and say, how is OES Energy Services? They will tell you that uh, they're proud to be associated with us as a partner. We are OES Energy Services Limited, Nigeria's largest indigenous swap rig services provider. We provide technical and operational expertise across drilling rigs business and have successfully executed several oilfield contracts in Nigeria with excellent results. 
Over the years, we have delivered to the utmost satisfaction of our clients with our highly trained personnel in Nigeria and other partners across Africa, Europe, Canada, and the United States of America. This is OES Energy Services Limited. Dynamic JT Limited is the preferred real estate development and civil engineering company in Nigeria for the provision of quality and affordable housing with a strong commitment to excellent and timely delivery of all our projects. At Dynamic JT Limited, we are truly dynamic in our approach to promoting viable real estate investment options, deliver premium customer services that guarantee value to our customers. Dynamic JT Limited to help tenants become landlords. And that's our program for today. Thank you very much for spending your valued time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to eomcoms.com and any of our other social portals, as you can see on the screen. Thank you very much, our sincere sponsors, for your continued interest and support. Always remember, with you and us, we are charms. Oh, yes. I remain Olorogo Elkana Moari. Please, let's do this again, same time, same channel, next week. We'll see you then.